hey guys welcome back so in this video all i'm going to do is show you how to put this together and it's the mailbox from ks crafts as you can see i didn't decorate it i didn't do anything to it because i want you to see the box itself once the video is done i will decorate it and i will post pictures on my instagram of the finished product but this video alone is only how to put it together okay so let's get started so the die itself comes with a lot of pieces and I know sometimes it could be a little a little scary when you see a lot of pieces. So what I like to do is separate all the decorative pieces and just putting them on the side. I forget about that for now. I do all the big pieces first. So all these pieces, all of these are the ones you want to like focus on. Okay, so what I like to do when I get my dies is cut everything one time. Cut everything one time, and then I know if I'm missing a piece, if I have to cut it twice or whatever, okay? So this is what I did. I already cut everything one time, and I'm going to show you step by step what I mean. Okay, so this piece right here is this piece right here. And this is why another reason why I didn't decorate this because I'm going to be showing you back and forth, back and forth. And if it's really embellished, it's sometimes a little hard to, to see what I'm saying. But this piece is right here. So I cut this one once, which is this one right here. Okay. This top piece, well, the sides is these two right here. Okay. So these two are the signs, and I cut that one of each. So put that there. Um, okay, so this piece, the bottom piece, is practically the top piece too. You see what I'm saying? So this piece goes there. So I cut this one once, and then I cut it again because I put it in the bottom. And I'm not sure if you can like folded here what I did was if you can tell right here that's where the, the fold mark is if I tried folding it that way you're gonna have like a gap so what I did was once I put this here okay this looks better this way once I put that here you see where the fold what the score mark is I don't know if you can see it okay you see that so what I did was I put it on my scoreboard and then I just did an extra score line. That's all I did. You can cut that piece out if you want. I didn't cut it out. I just made an extra score line and then I folded so that this piece is that one. I'll show you once I'm putting it together. So obviously I cut that piece twice. Uh, this piece is this one right here that will be on here, you see? So you cut this piece once and then this side piece is this one right here. So you cut that once. The part that you really only have to cut is this one right here, which is this piece. But you're like, okay, what's going on? What's wrong with this piece here? This piece is meant so you can cut it as tall or as short as you want. Cause, or you, if you don't even want that, you don't even have to use that and just use a regular box but to get that look here all i did was i took ignore that because it's like i was doing it so fast it ripped but trust me it cuts nice so i put it on my paper i put a piece of washi tape here and i ran it through the machine when it comes out you yourself have to cut this piece you have to cut that piece out okay to the size that you want you see, because remember, when you cut this, all you're getting is this piece attached to your paper. And that's fine. You take this piece out, you take your trimmer and you cut it and you cut as long or as short as you want. OK, I hope that made sense. OK, so now to put this together, let's take all these on the side. You take. I like doing the front piece first. So you're going to take this piece here and the side pieces, which is this one and this one. OK, 
okay? So you fold all your marks. It's like I'm looking at my phone. I'm looking at the paper. Because this is why I kind of don't like doing tutorials because they take forever. But hopefully I'm explaining myself right. So just fold and hopefully I'm in frame. Okay, so just fold all your pieces. Okay. Just fold everything. And again, once you're doing it, just use, you could take your time. I'm kind of rushing it a little bit. Okay, so that's done. You take this piece here, you fold that piece down. So basically we're, we're folding all the score marks. Now you want to attach this to this. So what I did was I put this on the table and I put glue at this little edge right here. Okay. And I found it easier just to kind of line it up. And fold that piece down okay it's probably gonna be one of my longest videos ever okay you see do the same thing to this part glue this little section here okay you line it up and just glue Okay. So you see, we already have the front piece. Now what you can do is, this is the bottom piece. This is, you fold this piece down. And we're going to glue the bottom piece to this edge right here. Okay, so let's just glue this now. Glue there, glue there. I forgot to fold this one. Glue here and glue there. You're going to take this and you're just going to, oops, sorry. You're going to line it up. And this part, I like doing it on the table just so I can see, but I don't want to be on the video. So I'm just lining that up there. Okay, lining this up over here. And this is the part that I'm gonna show you that it's gonna be like a little gap, but you can cut that off. I didn't cut it, I just did a score mark. So I don't mind the score mark because I just wanted that extra piece, that extra flap. Okay, so you see what I mean about if I was to add this piece, oh my God, I keep hitting this thing, I'm sorry. Okay, if I add this piece here, you see how you still got that gap there? It won't fold. So this is the part that you can cut that off if you want. I didn't. I left mine and I did it that way. So again, this part is totally up to you. I like scoring it. So I took my score more, my scoreboard. I lined it up to where this part goes. And I just did a little score mark right there. And you're probably saying, you don't need to do that. You can just cut it. Yep, you could. You could cut it. But for some reason, I kind of like that little flap on top. This piece right here. Okay, so here, this is where I just fold that piece up. Okay. So you see where you see that the original score mark and the score mark that I just made. Now, we're going to put the top, this piece in the back. So just glue, what I like to do is put, I like to glue this piece first, this bottom piece. So let's glue all that there. And again, you can easily cut this piece off, save you an extra spot, I mean an extra step, but I like having that little piece there. Okay, and there you go. That's your back cover. And you see that piece there, which is that right there. I like it. I just feel like it gives it an extra, maybe support, and it's also closed off. 
Okay, so now we're going to glue this part here. Oh my God, it's already 10 minutes. Okay, glue that part there. We're going to glue this piece here. Okay. Just glue this down, glue this one down. Okay, let me just put that. Once you got that piece down, glue the other side. And it's like I'm doing this like around my phone. That's why I keep bumping into it. I need like a longer handle. Okay, so we're done with the bottom piece. So you see what I mean? I just like that extra support, I guess. And that score line does not bother me whatsoever. Okay, so there you go. That's your front. Now we're going to do the lid. And for the lid, again, fold everything. Okay, fold this. You fold this piece, just fold everything. Okay. This piece right here is what's going to be glued to the back. So I do that last. I like to make my lid first, but again, it's totally up to you what you guys want to do and how you want to do it. But okay, hold on. It goes this way. Okay. So. You see, we're going to glue that. So you glue here, glue here, and here. Take this piece right there. This one goes like in a little angle, so you kind of tilt it. Let me just put it on the table. And then the top piece. Okay, so you got that. Same thing with here. Just glue your little area, all your little flaps, and it goes on this side. So we got that piece here. I put glue on this one here. Okay. And that's it, guys. Okay. Then you're going to take this flap here, glue that there. I like to put it down to make sure it's closing and then just gluing it down. And again, mine is a little crooked because I'm doing it over my camera, but you get the point, right? And that is it, guys. There is your box so I hope that this tutorial made sense I hope you guys like it and like I said I will finish mine up make it all pretty and I'll post my picture on Instagram this is just a super well not quick but <laughs> a tutorial just how to put the box together so I hope you guys like it and I will talk to you guys later bye